Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today. So I am really excited for today's video because uh, it's been a really, really, really long time since I did like a mastery setup and updated, uh, what it was, it, a Countor video. Uh, I know I did like changing my master's video like a few months ago, but that was when, you know, the Mystic Dispersion uh, compensation came and stuff like that. So now I'm doing it again, like after what, three, four months? I don't even remember how long I did it, did it before, but back then my... Base rating was only 200,000. Now I'm really excited to say that my base rating has finally reached uh, 300,000. Uh, it's 302k, but like yesterday morning, it was like, what? Uh, 295,000. <clears throat> and I like started ranking up all my two stars because it was uh, Summoner's Advancement Week in my alliance. And I just went ham and took my rating up to 320k, 302k. So I'm going to get into like trips and tricks and how to, you know, uh, improve your account and... Uh, get your base rating high. So the main difference is that you can see my profile. It's completely different uh, from when I last did it because that was a really long time ago. I, I maybe didn't even have like rank five four stars, but now I have three rank five, rank four five stars who are awakened and a six star champion. So before I go into like my account tour and stuff, I, I just want to quickly show you my mastery because this is going to be focused on mastery uh, a bit more. So <clears throat> going into mastery, as you can see, it's not too different from when I last did like changing my masteries video. Only two things changed. It's, they're like I reduced two points from defense and put, him, put one in despair and one in deep wounds. So I'm going to get into that later. So first of all, <clears throat> for the beginners out there, uh, your mastery tree might not look like this because, and you might not even have these uh, brown masteries unlocked because they are uh, unlocked by mastery cores which are bought by units. So yes, um, if you're uh, going for a place like mine, which is real, I play really aggressive and I rely really more on draft back intercepts and less parries as possible. And you know, I, I haven't started stand up intercepting yet, but I do like a lot of dash and intercepts. I do. Uh, so draft packs with Medusa, and you know, it's just uh, you get used to it once you use magic a lot, which I do. So, the draft pack intercept is like comes in handy for me. So, I have a very offensive uh, mastery setup. So, first of all, I've got one point in the strength, which you gotta do, uh, one point in greater strength. I, you know, you could uh, upgrade that mastery, you know, you know, when you're starting up new and stuff, but yeah. And then I've got this pierce, which is you can unlock this by a mastery core, it's 135 units. So I got one this one of this because it says critical hits from your champion ignore an additional five percent armor. It's good, but it's like you know it's kind of worthless. Cause crits are gonna ignore all armor anyway. Your crits are gonna hit a bit harder if you just do this. But if you want your crits to hit like way harder, you get these. Uh, the lesser precision mastery. It's really good. Uh, get that five out of five. Get the lesser cruelty five out of five, and when you got enough units to unlock, get the pr the precision and the cruelty masteries all five out of five. This is gonna crank up the ratings of your of your champion like way higher. Uh, your base rating is gonna increase. I guess I'm not sure about that, but your champions are gonna hit like significantly harder. There, you you're gonna notice a significant difference once you've unlocked these twenty masteries. These twenty mastery points are the most important while playing the game. I always advise people get these four masteries completely maxed out and then say you got a good mastery setup and now uh in suicide in the suicide tree i got one mastery only i got glass cannon um i'm not really interested in you know unlocking recoil or like the uh, suicides fully i just like glass cannon because you know that extra 7.2 percent uh attack is really important and now in the expensive masteries uh, if you watch my channel, you know that I'm not an arena grinder, man. I don't have units, like, at all. So, I unlocked Despair with two Carbonadium Mastery Cores while a gifting event was on. So, I gifted people with, like, you know, greater grifting crystals, you know, items, and I took a uh, Mastery Cores in return. Uh, that's how I got, like, three regular Mastery Cores and two Carbonadium Cores. They all went into Despair, and uh, some of that went into Deep Wounds. I just unlocked Deep Wounds, like, 15 minutes ago and put points in it, like, three seconds ago so yeah deep wounds uh it's finally unlocked in my account also despair i think despair is gonna stay at rank one forever uh until my void gets awakened i'm gonna get to that later and deep wounds i'm gonna max out as soon as i can because i use medusa i use blade a lot 
uh, I use Archangel, I use, I still use my 4 star Gwenpool, so Deep Wounds is going to be a really, really uh, important matchup for me, and after that, maybe someday I'll get Assassin. Um, for a more optimal mastery setup and uh, for like a more in-depth breakdown of these expensive masteries, I'm going to link you to my friend Jim. He's probably going to make a video on these expensive masteries and how to farm for that, how to easily get units. I'm going to you know sit with him one day and make it like a unit farming guide for that. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. And in the defense tree, I've got all the basics like a few points in vit one point in vitality and greater vitality I've put in like four points because... Um, I'm losing a lot of health from glass kind of like 7.2%. So if I put like a few points in vitality, I'm making up for like, you know, 2.8% of it. So I'm losing only like 4.3%. So it's really good. Uh, for in block proficiency and one in energy resistance, as minimal as you can go in the defense tree. That's what I believe in. And here, the main thing is I got four out of five Mystic Dispersion. Now, uh, I haven't spent like, I only spent like 90 units in Mystic Dispersion. I just bought three quarters of Athenas. And every single one of those cores came from loyalty. So I've saved up my loyalty. I've bought these cores and I've got Mystic Dispersion 4 out of 5. Maybe I'll, maybe someday I'll get it like 5 out of 5, but it's really unnecessary. And it kind of becomes really hard to control your power with 5 out of 5 Mystic Dispersion. So I, I'd rather suggest you use 4 out of 5 Mystic Dispersion. And here on the beginning, it, you know, just the standard uh, formation, 5 out of 5, uh, 3 out of 3 parry, 5 out of 5 limber. This is not necessary for you but if you really like if you're a scrub like me and get parried often this this is really quite helpful so you, you can get that five out of five and stupefied i really want you guys to max this out because that additional half second of stun it's really really useful in a lot of scenarios and dexterity one point is more than enough in it because I'd, I'd be happy if you could put like half half a point in dexterity and then you'd be done with it because the extra two points they do nothing uh so yeah that is it for like my very offensive and minimal mastery setup and now let's get to my champions um so my roster has increased and in like you know hugely in such i don't know i'm, I'm actually lost for words i don't know what to use so here's my uh, here's my roster that's like so much different, so vast, so bigger than it was the last time you saw it, because look at the top of my roster, man. A 455 Medusa, a Blade, a Magic, a Nebula, 6-star. Then I got a Spider-Man at 550, Quake at 345, Iron Man Infinity War, Killmonger, Archangel, Gladiator Hulk. It's like insane. I've got most of the god tiers in the game, so I'm just going to start with, you know, 6-stars and then work my way down. So 6-star, I've only got one. It's a Nebula. She's incredible. I love her. She's an awesome champion and really a great first 6-star. In terms of 5-star, uh, there are a lot more than there was before. Like, a lot more because I've got, like, what, 18, 21 5-stars. So, yeah. And, well, I would have more 5-stars, but look at how much Awakened 5-stars I have. Medusa, she's an Awakening gem, so I'm not going to count her. I got really lucky from a Chaos Rift and got a Cosmic Awakening game, chucked that into Medusa. But Blade here is a natural dupe, Magic here is a natural dupe, Quake here is a natural dupe, Venomple here is a natural dupe. So that's one, two, three, four, 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 five stars that I'm short. I should be at 25, but I'm at 24 because I do four of them. So uh, in terms of my five star roster, you can see most of these are new additions uh, except for Magic because she's been there for like the first. Uh, because she's my first five star, uh, Blade I got really recently. Like I got and awakened him last month within a week from two crystals. So yeah, it's insane. The, it's insane the lack of that I've had. Quake I awakened last five star crystal. A glider Hulk I pulled. Uh, Hyperion is one of my OG five stars. Psylocke, um, she's great, uh, but not got tier. Yondu's occasionally helpful. I'm really gonna uh, rank three Winter Soldier next because with the Killmonger synergy he had like a freaking truck. Then I've got Star Lord who's un unawakened, but so he's not useful. King Root, eh, Hella, she's kind of fun to play. Doc Ock, maybe I'll rank up if I awaken him, awaken him, because she he's a really good champion. Venom Pool, you all know. I don't. I'm not gonna say anything about that. So Void here, I think I'm gonna hold him uh, uh, till I awaken him or get an awakening gem from uh, five hundred percenting five point four, because I'm gonna do that very soon. Like after I explore this once I'm collected. So. Yeah, uh, if I get a science from him, science from that, I'm gonna get him straight to rank four. Uh, but maybe not rank four because I'm, I want to save the T two alpha to rank five my blade or Medusa for labyrinth. So yeah, um, but yes, he's gonna he's not gonna get upgraded uh, if he isn't awakened. Uh, then I have Old Man Logan who is crap, Hulkbuster crap, Civil Warrior crap, Juggernaut crap, Ronin 
occasionally useful when awakened, so still crap and colossus. We all know what's there. So 21 five stars, that's increased by a lot. And now four stars. I have a lot more four stars than I used to. So let's just give it a quick count and be on with her. Roster tools to have one, two, three, four, six, seven. What the hell? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen times six was that sixty. Uh, eighty. So I have eighty-five four stars. I'm not gonna go through all of them because there are way too much four stars uh, to go through. But uh, I'm just gonna go through my top twelve. Uh, so if, here I got Stark Spider-Man. He's at like six eighty. Uh, Killmonger's at six eighty. Iron Man's at like six sixty. Archangel is like six six forty. Gwenpool, she's 615, uh, Red Hulk, uh, so these are my all maxed out. The next maxed out is going to be, of course, Corvus Glaive. I got him and awakened him from, like, what, within four crystals, so he, yeah, he's great. Even as a 440 man, I use him regularly at map 5, and he, even as a 440 man, he destroys map 5. Like, he's so, so good. Mordo, probably never going to see the light. Uh, all of these champions, they mostly stay at bench, um, and... You know, when I occasionally grind the basic arena, they're helpful, stuff like that. And going down to three stars, I got a lot of them. I'm just going to give them, but not a lot of maxes, so yeah. I mainly focus my resources on five stars. That's why my five star roster is so big. Uh, and yeah, that's why I have so many five stars, 345 or 445, because I don't spend uh, catalysts on four stars. I do have a lot of catalysts, class catalysts at overflow and, you know, at cap. But I can't upgrade a lot of champions because I don't get basic. So, three stars in terms of I have one, two, three. What the hell did I do again? Okay, let's like, give the count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? What's happening? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's what? Uh, three short, uh, sorry, uh, five short of 120. Uh, 115. So I have 115 five, three stars. Uh, a lot of good ones here, but yeah, they are not even 110. So I'm gonna uh, 220 all these guys when I get the time and when I feel like, yeah, I should really get my rating to like 400,000 maybe I'll upgrade them then so yeah uh, this uh, oh and I'm just gonna give you a quick check of the inventory see and show you uh, that I've got a four star generic a bunch of three star ones doesn't matter uh, and a five star mystic awakening game I got this from the Christmas gift that Kabam sent us so yeah um, a lot of boosts and you know the regular items so hope you guys enjoyed the short video hope not short, but long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. Hope it was useful. Subscribe for more content. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic time.